It is time for Stugatz to share his game notes. No one in the media will tell you what happened better than my boy Stu. Weekend observations, excuse me. Allergies. Brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste. 96 calories available for delivery. Dan, when he retired, I, like many, figured his weekly podcast that is distributed as a radio show would go by the wayside. I was wrong. His endless quest to keep Jim Gray relevant continues. Because yesterday, as I was driving around, I heard a poorly read, very stiff promotion of the show we have all come to love. And Dan, just like that, make no mistake about it, Tom Brady's weekly show predictably named Let's Go is back. I don't know why you sideswiped poor Jim, Jim Gray, Gray there. What do you mean? Hall of Famer. I know he is. Uh, Billy was telling me during the break that uh, Brady just signed a new deal with somebody, and none of us understood it. He has now partnered with Delta Airlines as an advisor. What, uh, kind, of, what kind of advisor? It's very vague. Strategic, perhaps? I think that it says something about he's including general greatness is what his job is. Awesome. <laughs> advising. <Yes>. Advising <laughs> on greatness. Advice number one, no <laughs> diary on planes. It's happening. When do you think the last time Tom Brady chance. flew on Delta was? <laughs> It's a good it's a question. question. <laughs> it is. It's a good question. Speaking of back, U.S. tennis? Yeah. 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 About time. USA. Also, in one day, the NFL is back. Hey, soccer, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> Dabo Swinney can scoot. You heard it here first, Dan. Deion Sanders will be the next head coach at Florida State. Nothing says the Atlantic Coast Conference like two schools on the Pacific Coast and one school named Southern Methodist University. The ACC, SMU, the Mustangs had no idea Frank Beamer's son was a cock. Dan, what I tell you about going into Salt Lake City on a Thursday night? Huh? Huh? Who's laughing now? You said Provo. Well, I did. <laughs> Cal could play Georgia a thousand times, and it still would not be a rivalry. Georgia Tech. Randall and Rack. Yeah, but it, it was Georgia Tech. Yeah, the hell with Georgia. I know, I wrote it. <laughs> Why'd you but write Cal it? and Georgia could do it too, and it still would never be a rivalry. I mean, let's be honest. He's right. right. There, there is no yeah. school in the Fair SEC enough. that Cal could play a thousand times, and you would consider it a rivalry. Yeah. Enough. But it was an ACC joke. I know. He's still right, though. <laughs> uh, it, uh, I right. mean, yeah. it, it is fairly amazing that this is what is researched and written down. Mm-hmm. Want me to do it again? or? Uh, I mean. Georgia Tech. Where did he lie, though? <laughs> it's true. They wouldn't have a rivalry even if they played a thousand times. <laughs> Any ACC school. Name one. If Cal played him a thousand times, where you would be glued to the thousand. Fair enough. I don't know of Cal having a lot of football rivalries. Stanford. Thank you. Got you there. You did. You, you That's point. an ACC school, right? Cardinal. Yeah. <laughs> U.S. Open shot of the day, brought to you by Moderna. Cute. University of Miami. Do it against anyone else. Even cuter when the Moderna shot of the day comes off the racket of Novak Djokovic, the Joker. All of a sudden, Stanford has an offense. Aaron Rodgers and Novak Djokovic, a couple of unvaccinated guys cutting it up. What how, how do you enjoy that uh, Aaron Rodgers is on Hard Knocks talking about UFOs he saw? I love it. It's so... <laughs> It is. This this guy was a quarterback. so <laughs> careful about everything he said publicly five years ago. He's going to be the host of Jeopardy. He has totally stopped caring what anyone thinks about anything that he says. Just remember now, today, that you love the UFO talk. So, like, if something happens right. and you're one and four, 
we remember you love the UFO talk. I love the UFO talk. I've been one in four before, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a threat. <laughs> I live in one in four. <laughs> one in seven, perhaps you're on to something. Anyway, where was it? That can't happen if he's healthy. One in seven? Anything could happen to the Jets. That there. can't happen if he's healthy. The schedule is tricky. That's all I'm saying. They said the Mets couldn't be bad if they were healthy, Dan. Mm-hmm. One and seven is not how Aaron Rodgers' team is going to start. Oh, the Bills, Cowboys, Patriots, Chiefs. It's you want to do wins losses? It's we tough. can. It's tough. There's a, there's a path <laughs> to one and seven. Yes, there is. Eagles in there. <laughs> yeah. Chiefs. That's a loss. You mentioned the Chiefs. They play the Chiefs twice. <laughs> they Chargers. Same division now. <laughs> they play the Chargers. That's later in the season, though. But anyway. Stanford is going to be a force to reckon with for decades in the ACC. Brett Gabbert, terrible. JT Daniels, Jessica, where Rice. is he coming up? He's been talking Stanford he football. He watched the Hawaii but game. But he just bet one game. Yes. And like, what I is lost happening? it. I, like, what I is, lost it. What is happening with Stanford? Because you keep raving about the Stanford offense. I thought they were pretty – they weren't very good in the first week, were they? They're fine. They played Hawaii. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. What do you mean? Just in general. They have an offense I don't now. Know what I'm doing <laughs> JT Daniels, Rice. Hey, cars. I think three beeps is enough to let me know my seatbelt isn't on. I get it. You know what? Put it on the pole. Jesus. At Levitar. Just show. stop. I know. Hey, car. I think three <laughs> beeps is enough to tell me my seatbelt isn't on. Yes or no? You could just put the seatbelt on as well. You could. Or you could just argue with the beeps and the car. Why don't you three. wear your seatbelt? You know what? Sometimes you're driving out of the garage here. You don't have the seatbelt on until you get to the bottom. I'm, you know, I'm I plugging in ways. I'm doing a lot of things. You're like stuck in 1970 where you're driving without a seatbelt. You're smoking like <laughs> if it's nobody's business. Like, yeah, I know. You're right. I am stuck in the 70s. I feel like we overlooked that Brett Gabbert joke. Thank that you. That was a good joke. For I you. know. Thanks. I, uh, I was on an airplane. Should I have felt unsafe? I walked into the bathroom, and there was an ashtray in there. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, how old is this airplane? And can I be? Can I trust this tube to get me where I'm going? <laughs> you didn't smoke one? Or? <laughs> Tom Brady will fix that. <laughs> Here's a list of things I'd rather do than watch Iowa play football. Anything. Dan, you know what the I in Iowa stands for? I'd know. rather watch anything than watch Iowa play football. How about that? Cut you off there. You heard it here first. Deion Sanders will be the next head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> if hunting isn't at least a hobby for Sam Hartman, I simply don't know what's what anymore. <laughs> Put it on the poll, Juju. If hunting isn't a hobby for Sam least, Hartman, yes. uh, do you know what's what anymore? <laughs> at least a hobby. At best, a passion. <laughs> I know he fishes. I don't know if he hunts. Huh. Was Jen Lada on stilts? <laughs> she did look that was really a good tall. outfit. Yeah. I like the pants, though. Novak Djokovic. Underrated ass. You see it? In more ways than one. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> You saw it. You looked up like you saw it. I mean, <laughs> like, hey, I know what he's talking about. <laughs> he's, he's a professional tennis player. The greatest ever. He's using his glutes a lot. I suspect that tennis is replete with unbelievable asses. <laughs> I hate to say it, but Monday night feels like a must win for the Jets. Too bad. There wasn't another Sanders he can't that we could have it. given he can't credit do it to. Unless the music is right. I need he's the got, music. Yeah. He needs his music in order to feel right and be properly inspired. Thank you. I'm waiting yeah. for it. Let's get in there. Let's All get right. in there. All right, that's good enough. <laughs> okay. Too bad there wasn't another Sanders that we could have given credit to for that amazing victory by Colorado. Deion Sanders was the third most important Sanders on the field. For the TCU Colorado game. Third most. Third. Third. Few things better than a pot of meatballs. Top five pots of all time. Oh boy. Top five pots of all time. Oh boy. This is exciting. All right. Wonder what number one's gonna be. Number five. A pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> number four. 
What happened there, Chris? Chris Cody just, I saw, I'm reading lips, he just shouted, oh, shit. And which is basically, he's been on a surfboard of feces all show. Like, he's just <laughs> terrified because things are moving very fast. Number I'm riding it with him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this job. Number four. A pot of meatballs. <laughs> Number three. Yes. Roosevelt Potts. <laughs> number two. A pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That's number two. Yeah. Number one. Marijuana. <laughs> Watch out for the Marlins. Oh, really? Formula One. Max Verstappen is bad for your sport. Verstappen, Verstappen. I don't care how you <laughs> pronounce it. It's bad for the sport. He wins every damn week. I already missed the Pac-12. Usually, what? they say when you have three quarterbacks... It means you don't have one, except for Alabama. When they say they have three quarterbacks, they have three quarterbacks. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> they did blow out the team that beat Miami last year, though, Middle Tennessee. Yeah. I drove 100 yards past my golf ball in the 14th hole of Eagle Trace. People were watching me from their backyards, and they were laughing at me. <laughs> I was high. <laughs> Number one pot. Jalen Milrow. Holy shit. That's all I got. Don't look now, but Penn State has a quarterback. I just don't know his name. True Alar. Oh, he's good. <laughs> he was guy. pretty good. Yeah. Hope everyone listened to me and spent the weekend doing everything they needed to do for their wives to get them through the next six months. Dennis Schroeder is German. Huh. Dan, you know what the S in Schroeder stands for? I do not. Schnitzel. If Kenny Smith was German, his nickname would have been the Jetta. I mean, why are you looking at Stugatz that way? Because that was a terrible joke. If Eli Apple were German, his nickname would be Apple Strudel. 73 to 7. The Mercy Rule should be called the Mercer Rule. How about that? It's on fire. If I buy the Cheech and Chong gummies, will the ads go away? Oh, my God. <laughs> How much did they pay? Lionel Messi said he lived through hell playing for PSG. Lionel Messi, I'll live in hell forever for $55 million. <laughs> Speaking of hell, Art Bryles. Dan, those are the weekend observations. Put it on the poll, please. Would you live in hell forever for $55 million? Double nickel. <laughs>